Hey, what's up friends and welcome to the gentleman's journey. In this video, we're over at Martinez Shoe Repair and we're going to be sitting down with my good friend Joseph talking about his opinion on the Thursday captains. Well, thank you for inviting me, Chuck, to kind of give what little advice I know. I'm not an expert, but I think I can more or less tell you if it's a good boot, what a, what a good boot is and what not, what's not a bad boot. Awesome. Well, let's get into it. Let's head to the back, guys, and check out this awesome shop. Friends, you've been listening to me for quite some time now. And guys, I've been at Boots for a little bit, but I thought what better idea to get you to the expert. So Joseph's gonna give us his thoughts on the build quality, the construction, the type of leather, the welt, and all that that you guys have been waiting for on the Thursday captains. Well, I don't know about being an expert, but I have a lot of experience, a lot of, a lot of boots. And Chuck brought in this boot, and it's a Thursday boot. I've seen the ads on these boots. Uh -huh. And a lot of things that I look for on these boots is the welt. A lot of these boots have a, what they call is a synthetic welt or a plastic welt. The Thursday boot is really good because it ha doesn't do that. If you look at that, you'll see that it's a nice welt. It's a nice leather welt, uh, an oak welt. You don't see that in boots very often anymore. And for 200 bucks, geez, it seems yeah. like they're offering a pretty good boot You there. know, that's, that's really inexpensive for a boot of this quality, it really is. If you want to take a look at like the the, the sewing, the stitching, mm -hmm. it's double stitched. Uh, throughout the whole boot is double stitched. What I really like about this is a rubber sole. Uh -huh. And it's a good wearing sole. These are really, really, really good. So we put on a lot of these gotcha. and they wear, they really wear. Yeah, that's three years old right there, so. And you can see if it's three years, how much more wear there's still left in that's there. That's it. The stitching usually falls apart on most boots, but look, if you look at this one, the stitching is gone on the bottom, that's when the sole comes off. Uh -huh. But with a well-made boot, that doesn't happen. Okay. And you can see that it's completely, it's still intact, it's, and there's, there's nothing loose on it. The heel, the same thing, they usually break. Mm -hmm. And the leather on top, usually they'll call, they'll say inside, uh, man-made material or synthetic or yeah but this one no you can tell that it's a nice leather insole uh, and it's just what chuck has in these it's always a good idea when you have a boot like this is to buy something like this it's a nice um boot jack to put in there it keeps them nice and straight and it prevents a lot of the cracking mm -hmm. and even if you don't with these boots they really don't crack they really don't they're really a good and that's what makes a difference when you buy a leather boot really good quality boot yeah, the only thing that I noticed was the very tip, and I'll show you guys, uh, kind of cracked off where that stitch was. And I didn't really fault Thursday for that, but that's really the only thing that happened on the outsole And for that's, me. I mean, there's, just I, no matter what that happens, that's, that's kind of something that's kind of common. Yeah. yeah. But in general, you know, that that's, that's just the way it is. And so Thursday released this line, and then now they've went ahead and put out this new outsole. Of course, you guys know this is the Storm King outsole by Thursday. With this rougher leather, I can the wear it leather. out hiking yeah. and stuff. And yeah. I don't really want to wear this, but to like church or to and the it, office and it, or something. And it grips a lot with the weather we've been having, ice, snow. It really, it's a good gripper. What do you that. think of this guy though with? The same, I mean. You're not seeing you can, the stitching come through and stuff. So yeah. it is resolvable though, right? And yeah, these are the type that they make to be resold. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's what makes them so nice because what you'll have is you'll have a, if you look at that, you'll have a um, leather midsole in there. And usually they're, they're plastic okay. or rubber, but this has got a nice leather midsole. And they're allowed, that allows you to get those resold. And you can probably resold these two or three times with the quality of this boot. That's really encouraging. Yeah, like they'll, a... they'll last you a long time. Um, and the big thing again is with this boot or any boot or any shoe is always keep them conditioned. Because okay. that's what happens. If any, if any harm's gonna come to this boot, it's because of that, because of lack of conditioning. Always put some conditioner on your boots. And yeah, I would love to hear last. what you would actually put on these on these different mm -hmm. sets of boots. What what would you go with? Of course, my care process. I have a video. I'll link to it here, guys. But 
Uh, I've been using Venetian shoe cream, mm -hmm. uh, and then I've also... Well, Venetian shoe cream is good for cleaning, uh, to take in all the surface dirt and uh, all the impurities in the leather. For conditioning, a lot of people use mink oil, and now I may offend a lot of people, or they'll use uh, neat foot oil, uh, uh, stuff like that. No, we found a lot of it's petroleum based and it eats through the leather. One of the conditioners we use is called the Norwegian. It's been a company that's been around for years. It's an old, old product. Um, unlike most conditioners, what this does is it penetrates the leather and it softens the leather, keeps the leather nice and soft. Mm -hmm. And what the best thing about this is with most conditioners, it's hard to keep a shine on the shoe afterwards. Okay. But with this stuff, we have found out that you can still reshine the shoe and it still protects the shoe a lot, which is Norwegian. With a horsehair brush or would you hit it with a cloth? We, I, how would you polish it? You, you don't need very much with a terry cloth, just kind of rub it into the leather. So for example, on these boots here, right. you would get just a small cloth and just kind of slowly work it into the leather. A little bit goes a long way all over the boot. Boy, this would be, this boot would really look nice. Yeah, these are ones that I'd be interested mm -hmm. in shining up, you know, like I said, for the office right. or church or something. Yeah. And these ones, of course, I want that rougher look. And uh, also remember, what if you do, this Norwegian does work on brush leather, but there's a caution, and I think you know that, Chuck, it's gonna darken them. Oh, okay. Yeah, Okay. which is okay if that's, I mean, but yeah. that's the best thing to do. Um, I brought in this Saphir, so I've used this a lot, that leather greasy cream. Uh, yeah, so here, and of course really here's good. that Venetian that I've been using. I like Venetian. Venetian has been around for years. It's an old, old product. Real hard for us to get, but we do get it eventually. But if you want some really good uh, shoe cream, yeah, Venetian is the oh, best. Okay. It will clean out all the leather, all impurities in the leather. I haven't used that on these, but this is what Red Wing sent me, the leather protector spray and then the leather cream. So I, mm -hmm. I thought I'd grab your opinion. Even though we're not talking Red Wings today, just what you thought of this stuff. Um, it's okay. I mean, I'd say you can use that if that's what they give you with the boot, if that's what rec uh, Red Wing recommends, you know, mm -hmm. that's, that's their product, so. Yeah, yeah. Good okay. Job. Some of the other stuff we use, of course, is we really found out was really good stuff is this Tarago shoe cream. It's got some kind of conditioner in it and also got some dye in this, in the, in the polish. So, for example, on this boot, if you had to, if you, uh, let's say you scuff the toe yeah. and it's a brown. With this stuff, it's got some dye in it and it'll just eventually bring the leather color right back up and at the same time it conditions it. And it really gives a really super high shine on it. This is really good stuff. I'll put a link to that in the description mm -hmm. so you guys can check that out as well. Uh, and of course, I know you've seen a lot of the, the Lincoln polish. This has been around for a year. We always like to use the old products instead of the newer products because uh -huh. they work. Um, and Lincoln is good. Again, it's got some kind of a dye in that polish and it brings back the color on the leather. Really good stuff. Do you know how many colors they offer with that? Or? They offer brown, black, cordovan, green, tan, bordeaux. Okay. So they offer a lot. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, and of course, on Norwegian, it also comes in an oil. A lot of people like oil, if you want the oil. The only problem with the oil is you have a tendency to put too much but if you prefer the oil. And I really brag a lot about the Norwegian because it really is good stuff. One other product that I found has been around and I didn't really didn't know about it. And I just happened to know the guy that sold this. He came in one day and he says, hey, um, I've got some leather refinisher. I said, yeah. And on here it says wood and stuff, hmm. but it's not for wood. It is a nice dye. If your shoe is really badly scuffed, Mm -hmm. This will finish and what I like about it is it penetrates the leather and a lot of dyes when you put them on there, it cracks. I almost uh -oh. bet you that this will not crack on it. We've used this a lot. It comes in different colors. It comes in black, charcoal gray, dark gray, white, um, yellow, pink, blue, whatever colors you want. Good stuff. It says wood and stuff. It's made for wood, but we use it a lot on leather women's purses. Uh -huh. The, so you're saying that kind of penetrates deep where the other stuff stays on the surface? It stays on the surface, oh, okay. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and especially with difference. women's purses or, or suitcases on the handles, if you put the dye, usually it'll come off on their hand. Oh, you don't want that. And yeah. well, now with this stuff, it won't do that. It's really good stuff. Very interesting. So, Black Rock is another good conditioner. I don't know if you've- Black come, Rock, huh? Yeah, no, I haven't used that yet. Yeah, it cleans the softens Let me know if you guys curves. have used Black Rock in the comments below. 
check it out. You'll be really pleased with that. Very cool. We sell a lot of that, so we have a lot of that here. And you'd recommend that for these ones here? Definitely. On those sturgy boots, I'm uh -huh. surprised how they haven't really recommended it, but okay. that's my two cents on Very it. Good. If you want that. On those sturdy, if you want your boots to last, use Black Rock. What I like again, I like about it is it penetrates the leather. It doesn't just stay on the surface. Uh -huh. It goes where it works right into the leather. Uh, this is another product that's been around for a while. It's the Cadillac Boots and Leather Lotion. I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah. and it's good to I've take out a lot of the surface dirt off quickly. And you don't use you don't need very much of it with the terry cloth. Just wipe off the boot. Okay. And it uh, the it cost off. has been less on that than I've seen on other products. Mm -hmm. So it's really expensive. Yeah. expensive yeah. And of course, uh, uh, edging. Yeah, we've definitely hit that up even recently. Uh, I've done the edging on this. And there's two types. There's a composition of neolite, and then there's the other one. I think that's it's like a, a like a liquid. Okay. The neolite edging. The composition is a lot thicker, and uh -huh. it covers of the the boot and the scars a lot. Okay. Oh yeah, that does seem thick. Yeah, this is a lot thicker. See. Yeah. So, yeah. Those are some of the things we do. Of course, we have to go on and on and on with a lot of the stuff we do, and as we go through. Our cleaning. He, he, my father fixes the shoes. He's taught me what to look for in a lot of these products. So I'm always experimenting. And I know there's a lot more products that the older products that I'm testing right now. I haven't uh, had a chance to use them, but they're coming. So. So you talked about a lot of products, but mm -hmm. if you were just to have a guy grab a set of Thursdays, right, and you want to polish them, what would you? Go I would back suggest. To this guy? I would suggest Black you. Car? I would suggest you some black rock. Mm -hmm. Clean them off. You always want to take the surface dirt off. How do you? How would you clean them? You talked to me the other day, and you said, you said no to the saddle soap. No, I'm. I'm. There's a, a lot of people like saddle soap. Saddle soap is good for saddles. Gotcha. But for shoes, what happens with saddle soap? It just doesn't work. It, it tends to kind of maybe at times most boots it'll ruin the boot. It just wow. it just doesn't work on those. And again, that's my opinion, but I, but a lot of that I've used. That's why I've gone to something like Black Rock. Black so Rock, you, and you just work it right in okay. into the boot. I tend to use my hands a lot, which I shouldn't do, but I do anyway. <laughs> so would you kind of clean and it off just, with a horsehair brush and then? No, with this Black that, Rock, you would you just do? clean them. And you can already see sure. what a little bit I've done. Yeah, you sure can. And it'll just take the surface dirt off. And then with a the rag, you can go back and clean them Interesting. off. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, and it takes all the surface dirt off. And then you can go ahead and use, I would, on these Thursday boots, uh -huh. to keep them this way, I would strongly, strongly recommend the Tarago dye or polish. Okay. Again, it's got the oil in there, and it'll keep the color. It, the shine will, will shine come right back. Mm. And for conditioning, again, you may want to use some neat foot oil okay. afterwards and clean them up. So. I always tell them, just on a Sunday evening, you're watching the game or watching TV, grab all your boots and just clean them at yeah. once and kick yeah. back. It's just have, you have it, sometimes people have a tendency of putting too much. Okay. Black Rock and it's Nor uh, Norwegian. You don't need that much. A little bit goes a long way. A can like this will last you, I'd say, uh, maybe 10 to 15 pairs of shoes. Okay. It lasts you a long time. The same thing with the Norwegian. Yeah. It lasts you a long time. As long as you put it on there. Good deal. Okay. Well, friends, that's it. You got some master advice, I would say. Guys, uh, the Thursday Captains, they have held up for me over three years. I'm super impressed with them. If you're thinking about a pair, 200 bucks, you know, it's an investment that's gonna last you a while. I think we're gonna be back to pick Joseph's brain and even his father here in future videos. I'm gonna have as many links to this stuff in the description below, and I'll make sure and detail them out. So. If not, you can go to your local cobbler and try to find some of them. But guys, this is what we do over here at The Gentleman's Journey. I hope you're enjoying the process, and we'll see you in the next video.